or the developers haven't animated what, what happened what oh you know I, I can't say I was expecting to be jump scared by a lantern when I started playing games today that's something new welcome back everyone we're going to be playing some more random games, and today I thought we would show Game Jolt some love. Everything I've done so far was on itch.io, but I thought we'd just, you know, hop over to Game Jolt here. It's a similar website. I mean, I don't, I'm not so aware of the community differences or the um, content differences or whatever. Maybe I'll kind of figure that out here. But let's go, let's go explore what uh, Game Jolt kind of has to offer here. Watchdog is a game about a night watchman in Dirtout Park. However, various evil spirits have settled in the park. You have to write a, down a dossier on each of the evil spirits, as well as defend yourself from them. Watch the temperature to keep you comfortable. Reveal their weaknesses and provocations. Send all materials and agency to control the energy. So what am I, what am I looking at here? Like I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like an observation duty sort of situation here, but I'm not... I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's go check it out. Watchdog. Okay. I like the music. It's kind of spooky music. That's fitting right in with the season here. I kind of like it. Okay. Very nice. Um, 3 a.m. Of course, the witching hour. Everything bad happens at 3 a.m. Let's go ahead. Um, introduction. You are Mark Wade. You got a job at a paranormal agency. The agency set about cleaning up the country park Durnout from the evil spirits. The previous observers did not cope with their work, for which they paid. Ooh, okay, paid with their life? or what? <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Write down a dossier on each evil spirit and identify the weaknesses and provocations. Always be on the lookout and constantly check all the information collected. Send all received data to the agency. Good luck. Good luck? How much? How much shit do you want me to do? Holy crap. Oh, training. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, Mark Wade, this is... This tutorial will tell you what to do. Okay. First, spin yourself around using A and D. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay. Um, I don't really know how I feel about being able to look around, though. Oh, shit. What did I just walk into here? Now turn towards the TV and press E to open the cameras. Okay. 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 This is more what I was expecting. Amazing. You can also go back by pressing E. Okay. All right. In and out with E. Okay. Gotcha. But what, like, what else? Oh, no. Are we looking for crazies out in the woods? What is happening here? You can explore the area on the cameras when you're ready to move on, hit next. Yeah, okay. Uh, now try turning on the radar. It's right in the middle. Use R. Okay. Um, use R. Okay, there we go. Amazing, remember? Can I, like, click on it? To toggle? No, I can't. Okay. Or amazing, remember? The closer the circle is to the center, the closer evil spirits are to you. Ah, okay, good. Um, well, there is a dot on it right now. I guess that's far away. I I don't have a scale. Is that is that one inch? Is that a mile? I, um, don't forget the position of the circle does not depend on the side from which evil spirits come. Okay, not directional. Got it. Uh, if a circle is visible, then the evil spirits have awakened. Oh, find her on the cameras. Oh shit. Okay. Um, what does a spirit look like? Will I know when I see it, or...? Uh, um... I, uh... Oh, there's a camera on the security thing? That'll be real awkward if I see someone there. Oh, wait. If you see evil spirits on the cameras, then it's time to write it down in the dossier. Okay. If this is an evil spirit, it just looks like a... A fat golden guy. What is what is happening? Write it down the dossier by pressing space. You have spotted the golden man. Oh, well. I guess that was right on the money, except I, I added in another probably unnecessary adjective. I'm I'm sorry about that, dude. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong. You keep doing your own thing. Uh, you're doing great. with The recorded dossier can be viewed in the book, which opens with Q. In addition to the dossier, there's still a lot of information. 
Okay, can I... Oh, I thought... Do I need to be out of the cameras to, to view it? Oh, there. Oh. So, um... Uh, yeah. Okay, this is a bit of an issue. There's a little bit of a language barrier, and when I say a little bit, I mean um, a gigantic brick wall of a barrier. I don't know how to read this. This is like Russian or Cyrillic or, or something, I think. Um, okay, well, hopefully we just don't need that information. <laughs> uh, on the bottom front, there's a control panel. Use it, turn forward, and press S. Oh! Okay, I, okay. I don't like having to move around the office, but it's kind of cool. Like you, like you have all these different tools, and you do gotta like actually look around. Like that's that's kind of nice. It has several functions that are currently unavailable. It will be activated later. To go back, press W. Okay. Uh, sound wave is responsible for giving a sound signal. This is necessary to identify weaknesses or provocations of evil spirits. Oh wait, there is a sound wave button on here. Okay, it's explaining that. Uh, light turns on the flash in the entire booth, which scares away the evil spirits that climb the ceiling. Man, it's my first day here. I'm a new hire in training, and you're you're just gonna s just in the middle, just slyly, like just to make sure I'm paying attention. Just be yeah, this button is for the the guys that crawl on the ceiling, the evil things that you know they crawl around and they turn their their head around and look at you okay no uh yeah no okay that's fine um okay the light scares away ceiling things critical stun stuns and shocks especially dangerous evil spirits available only on the third night oh my gosh what kind of what did i just walk into here this is like a five nights at freddy situation now fuck okay repair allows you to repair broken equipment as most evil spirits are capable of this, evil spirits break equipment after you drive them away, leaving a characteristic sound. Okay. So driving, you want to drive away spirits, but when they do, they're going to break shit, so you got to hit repair. Okay. All right, all right, gotcha. In the bottom right, there's a heater. Um, you must monitor its indicator and the temperature scale. Oh, you're talking about the icon? Okay. I I mean, there's a thermometer and a bar here. Um, now the temperature is comfortable, but later it will depend on the reading of the heater. Remember this. In addition to the heater, there's also a tablet on the right. With it, you can request energy as well as report evil spirits. Oh, there's a tablet? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, there's... Hang on. Can I... Oh, okay. This is the heater. So I can... There's a power button. Okay, it's not letting me turn it on, I think, because we're doing shit. Oh, uh, this is not required, but recommended. To use the tablet and send data. Okay, what? But recommended? But... What do you mean? Is it like you're at work sort of situation? You know, it's recommended to do a good job, but you technically don't have to. You can just do the bare minimum. You get paid the same as everyone else. Uh, some evil spirits are able to climb the ceiling. Looks... But yeah, thanks for reminding me. Uh, press, oh. Okay. Yeah, that's just gonna be lovely. Fine, I also wanted to mention that some cameras, evil spirits, are not visible. Use night vision. How much shit is in this game? This isn't version point one. There's so much going on. <laughs> so, Z to see them. That helps a lot. Not gonna lie. Can I just leave this on? Is there... Oh, wait, there's a battery symbol. Okay. Like that. Oh, hi, dude. You're still sitting there? That's cool. Like... Oh, my gosh. Like, that is so... Okay, well, this one you can't even see without it. Oh, and that one. And basically this one. Okay, like, half the cameras, you can't even see anything. That's ridiculous. Okay, like that one you kind of can... Okay, that's that's really helpful. If evil spirits approach the window, then pressing X to close. They're approaching the window. No! Stop this now! Why did what? Why am I playing this game? Um. Okay, different evil spirits take different times to leave. 
This is absolutely five minutes at Freddy's situation. If you notice evil spirits near the door, aim at it and press F to shine a flashlight. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Also, do not forget about energy and spend wisely. Good luck to you. What do you mean don't forget about energy? What? What's energy? You didn't talk about energy. File. What is this? There's a radio thing here. Do I radio back to someone? You know what? They said something about the tablet. How? What button? Oh, E. Okay. Do I need? Yeah, I need to be looking at it. Okay, E is to use the tablet. Communication with... Agents, send files, describe evil spirits, request energy. Send files, fill the form, name, the name of evil spirits with a capital letter. What? Um, what was it? Golden. Okay, I press space and then that. Go. Wait, so if I press a button that is like a control like i press e golden man okay e okay e takes me out of this so be careful when spelling shit with e reliability yes there is no fiction uh danger level a1 i sure a1 send it send it okay i have no idea they didn't really go over that Again, this game's in version point one, so I don't know how much, like, everything is there. Like, you know, sometimes games are in development, they had they built this shit up, but it's not linked to anything in the game. Uh, describe evil spirits. Gold it. Okay, well, I'm guessing, I'm guessing this part isn't fully fleshed out, seeing as how E kicks you out of it. I'm guessing. Um, request energy. I'm confused. Oh, that was the end of the tutorial. First night. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, there's no, there's no, um, fuck, dude, okay, thank you for the tool tips, though, that, huge, thank you so much. Oh, energy, 100%, so does, like, everything I do, 12 a.m., does everything I do, like, use energy? Like, should I not leave the radar on, for example? Uh-oh, uh-oh, we have a spirit. Um, but I notice... There's like frost in the corners of my screen. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, uh... Fire? Is that heat? Oh, cool. Okay, just press heat and we're good. And we're good? Okay. Alright, how are we doing? Okay, the spirit. There's there's one spirit somewhere. Um, How am I gonna know? Wait, spotted the lantern in the cave zone. Notice two more times to confirm. Wait, is the, the lantern is the spirit? That's kind of weird. So how do I get rid of it? Um. Oh. My. Is there anything on the ceiling? No, we're good. We're good. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. Someone just moved closer. Um. Okay, there's a lantern here. Yes, I saw the lantern. What do the other ones look like? Do I always get a pop-up? Oh, hi. Hi, gold man. Hi. How's it going? Dude, how's it going? I. Where's the other one? Can I just tab through these? Slime? I didn't even I didn't even read that. I'm kinda I'm kinda I'm a little bit Okay, they they're kinda getting close. How's my heat? Okay, my heat's still good. Energy's good. Oh, oh the lantern. Uh how long do I need to oh, Okay. The the lantern's the spirit, right? It's coming after me. I'm be, I'm being I'm being hunted. By a lantern. How do I know when it's gone? Okay, well, I guess you just peek. Oh, what? Oh, the heat, the heat. Oh my gosh, turn that down. Okay, um, nothing on the ceiling, nothing. How close? Okay, they're kind of close. One's really close. Oh, hi. Hi, golden man. How, <laughs> how are you doing? I... <laughs> I don't know if these are, like, placeholder models and stuff. This game could be fucking terrifying, depending on what they decide to make the enemies to be. Maybe this is just what they're going for. They just want to be like, hey, I just want to flex, like, 
a golden man? Wait, that's him? Oh, yeah, he's just really close. Okay, um, I'm gonna try and, like, look for shit. Strange turtle? The lantern. Okay, I better go check on my other shit here. Oh, someone's close. What is that? Is that the slime? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh. What? What the? What's in the window? What is that? Hello? I'm... Is it like... Okay. Was it like clipping through the window? Was it really that close? Okay, we gotta repair something, right? Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, the spirits are far away. We're still good. Okay, lantern. Should I, like, report the lantern? There's the golden man. There's another lantern. The turtle is kind of freaking out a little bit. Um. Anything? Oh, wait, what? What the hell? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Give me that heat, give me that heat, give me the heat. Give me the heat. All of the heat. Turn that shit up. Yo, yo, yo. What? The heat. The heat is on. Why am I... I'm still freezing. Oh, my... That... Oh! That... That was the turtle last time. That's what happened. Okay. Okay, there's only one spirit that's immediately here. I guess on the plus means they're here. So now... Okay, now he's gone. Oh, I don't think he actually broke anything. I don't... I don't know why I did that. Oh, oh, what? Where did you... When did you get here? I just looked at this. Okay, I need to watch my temperature. Oh, I bet the bar on top of the temperature gauge is probably because he has an animated, or the developers have an animated. What, what happened? What? Oh. And that was a lantern jump scare. I, uh, you know, I, I can't say I was expecting to be jump scared by a lantern when I started playing games today. That's something new. Well, holy crap, Th this game, uh, you know, I, I want to play a, like a smattering of games, so I don't want this game to steal the show the whole time. Like, for being in version point one, there seems to be a lot going on. I, I really like playing this. I I don't know, I might I might play this again another time or something, especially if there's interest. I, it might get its own episode, I don't know this. <laughs> it seemed like a lot of fun. There were so many different mechanics, and I didn't even, I didn't even get to reporting stuff or anything. That's... That's kind of crazy. Game Jolt. You, you, the first game, it kind of slaps, not going to lie. Night of the Streaming Dead. Well, since I'm in the content creation gang, I guess, uh, gang, uh, game, I guess the name kind of caught my eye. The year is 2022. The second pandemic is in full swing and everyone's working from home. Well, everyone except Michael. You see, in the zombie apocalypse, it's kind of hard to be a crime-fighting duo and Mike is getting on in his years. He needs some way of earning money fast. In 2022, a faster way for Michael to earn money than live streaming the apocalypse. <laughs> Power and numbers. Run over zombies, increase your viewers, and earn cash. Okay, alright. This seems like an interesting little jaunt. Alright, here we go. Drive W... Oh, it's a driving game. Drift is space. Buy fuel is E. Reset car control. Oh, it's over if you have me driving. Um, in 2025, okay, well, that's a different year already than what was previously described. Some false advertising. Uh, Michael Knight must come out of retirement to stop the zombie pandemic. Currently contained to a small town in the U.S., always at the full front of technology, is utilizing the latest features of Knight Industries that will allow him to connect to the world and find those in urgent need of rescue. Live streaming. The more viewers Michael can acquire, the more message of rescue he can get out to... The contamination zone. Rescue survivors move the undead and drive like a stunt man in town. Increase your followers and final score. Beware if you don't provide enough entertainment to your audience, they will not like it and will leave your stream. There's power in numbers. Kit isn't as sprightly as they once were, and their fuel doesn't stretch as far. Remember to keep an eye on your fuel level and purchase fuel. Uh, be warned, fuel prices start to increase and price them or use them. Be sure to spend your money wisely. Good luck out there. Why? In the apocalypse, they're still trying to charge me for fuel. That's kind of messed up. Oh my! Shit was loud. Oh, oh, oh! I got 20 viewers already, and I haven't done anything. That's kind of crazy. That's crazy numbers. Oh, oh! 
full. They're kind of fast, though. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I got 16 do 98 viewers? I haven't even done anything. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. Just run over some zombies. I got 98 viewers. Start mission. What, what the hell? Oh, I got Twitch chat in the lower right? Oh, I should probably go to the objective indicator. Oh, do I need fuel? I got... No, I'm at 82 fuel. It should be fine. Um, I just gotta figure out where the hell I'm going. Is this a brick wall? Yeah, it is. Um, not gonna lie, I've had better days driving. Yeah, let's buy fuel. Oh, no, I can't afford it. Okay, well, I should try making more money then. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to read Twitch chat while I'm driving, and that's not very good, even though I'm, I, I feel compelled to, to read it, but while driving, it's, it's kind of questionable. You just took out, like, more than one of them. Oh, well, mad respect. I missed your name, because the chat keeps scrolling, but, uh, you know, thank you. I appreciate your support. Okay, where are we? We just, do we just have to pick up Survivor? Where, and then, oh, bring him over here? 235 viewers holy dude i am exploding this is my first time live streaming i got 252 this is crazy you are running out of gas oh thanks for the heads up um there's a gas station oh here yep 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 uh roger that you're running out of gas yep thank you did you know i i, I didn't get your full name okay i had Oh, I actually made a decent amount of money. Okay, now it costs 300 though? Oh my lord. Okay, well, I guess we're going over here to pick up a survivor now. They said drive like a stunt man. So should I be like drifting and stuff? Does that... Does driving over gravestones help? Oh my. Oh hell yeah. What? What the f... Excuse me? <laughs> I just did a barrel roll with my car. I'm glad my car doesn't have health. If I like drift hard enough, does that, is that what does the barrel roll? That's so weird. Is there, what in the? Okay, okay, we gotta reset the car. Control, they, they told me control was to reset the car. Um, hello, I seem to have barrel rolled out of control. I need guest one. This is the best thing I've seen in ages. <laughs> Are you even reading this? Yeah, Kino97, of course I'm reading this. I'm just, you know, I'm a little bit focused. I'm a little bit frustrated. Um, this, uh, streaming is harder than it looks, okay? I, I can't, there's no, I can't unfix the car. They said control was to fix it. Is any other button to fix, fix it? No, none of it's working. None of it. <laughs> well, I guess um, the star that burns twice as bright burns half as long. I was kind of exploding on Twitch, but I guess this is where my uh, streaming life ends. Tragic. Don't Flee is a psychological horror thriller. Oh, boy, I don't. Well, okay, let's go for it. Uh, all the actions of which take place in an old abandoned school. Oh, Boy, I why did I click on this? Um, also, this is pre-recorded, so why don't I just skip this? Um, okay, act like it never happened. In which the player finds himself uh, to save his brother, but as soon as he realizes this, he's uh, everything he sees is not true, as if the whole world that surrounds him is one big nightmare. Uh, the player will have to find your brother and get out of the school. Brother's crossed out, so I don't know if we're just saying, you know, F him, I'm getting out of here. I, maybe. Uh, which contains a large number of secrets. Features in eight of the game, you have two light sources with you, flashlight and a night vision device. A flashlight has longer battery life and stronger light source, but the enemy can notice the light from the flash flashlight and pounce on the player. Oh, good. Night vision, shorter battery life, smaller high beam, but the enemy's not able to notice it. Cool, okay. Complexity of the game, you have no right to make a mistake. Every mistake will take your life, so I advise you think through all actions. Oh, Boy, okay, freedom actions. There's no strong restrictions in the game, which means that you have much more choice actions. Really? Okay, see, now Amnesia the Bunker said the same thing, but I, I found it kind of restrictive at times. But uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and try it out. 
Excuse me? The game is 1.7 gigabytes? <laughs> Unreal Engine? Hold up, that explains the big download. Epilepsy warning. So, a warning to any of you if you have photosensitive epilepsy. Under influence, if you have, if you have ever had epileptic seizures and those are for playing, flashy... Oh, okay. That's cool. Use your headphones. Yep, I got... I got my bad boys on. Click to continue. Is this the menu? It's like... I feel like I see a window in front of me with something maybe there. Click? I... I'm clicking. Oh. I, I was almost sure there was going to be a jump scare right away. <laughs> okay, um, is there... Um, anything... Everything's all... I wonder if this is some Unreal Engine 5 shit. Even, like, the... You hear the, like, the noises the menu makes? Even that's kind of spooky. Um, I was looking for a brightness setting, but, um... I don't... I don't know if this game has that, so... I guess we'll see. Game saved. Press T to enable night vision. Oh! Oh, 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 yes, okay. That's, okay, that's indeed night vision. Oh man, it's so hard to see. What is this music? Is this from like... It sounds like it's from like Ocarina of Time or some shit, like in... You know what I mean? Is it from Zelda? It, it might be original, I don't know. It's, it's just reminding me of that. Um, it hasn't, oh, there's the flashlight. I, I, I have limited battery though, is a thing. Oh, you, oh, it's just to be, ah. See, I don't know when I should and shouldn't be using the flashlight. What's this? Current battery, camera battery. Oh. Um. Like, am I gonna get this? Uh. I'm just gonna turn on night vision for a second. If I, uh. Oh my. How? What was that? Is that. Is that just ambience how like can I interact with everything in the environment holy moly what's that flashlight battery oh there's a night vision battery and a camera battery oh key added why did the ambience go away it's kind of spookier now without the spooky ambience what is happening? Hello? Um... I... I don't know what to do. I'm... I'm a little... I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know what's happening. Is that a door open? It's a, it's a filing cabinet, it's a locker. I, I, what? I don't know what I'm doing, I don't. Hello? It's like so dark even with the night vision. Like I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh man, I am losing my shit. Can we just, like, not do this right now? Photo. Okay, so that's one of the, uh... One of the things that are after me, or what? What's going on here? I can't be using night vision this whole time. Uh, how do I reload the, the battery? Oh, shit. Okay, well... Guess we're gonna be using a flashlight. 
We're gonna be broadcasting to everyone our, our location. This was a terrible idea. Why did I ever decide to do this? This is... I regret everything. Hello? Hello? What? Were these lockers always here? Can I go... Oh... Why is the music picking up? Am I supposed to hide in here? I think that was just a coincidence that that, me that track ended right when I went in here. Right? Right? Oh my... I don't know what it is. I haven't played too many horror games with like... In the Unreal Engine anyways, with like pretty good graphics. It's been a long time. Probably since, like, Outlast or something. I think... Was Outlast Unreal? I don't remember. Oh. Okay. I... Can I open all the... Oh, no. Well, just by chance, the one I opened had a battery in it. Okay, you can't... You can't open all of them. In fact, you can't... Open many of them at all. Oh, but they do got stuff in them. I'm glad I got a flashlight battery. Where? How do I tell my flashlight, like, battery duration? Like, I have so much. Where are the controls? The phone. This this was the thumbnail. Do I have a... Ah, here's the inventory. Okay, um, battery-free camera. Recharge the camera if your old battery has used up charge. How do I... Oh, I use a scroll wheel? Key to cabinet 106. I'm gonna be honest, that means nothing to me. Oh, I got... Okay, I can see the flashlight battery in the lower left. I'm guessing it'll, like, flicker or something, maybe? Um, once I get there? But, like... I mean, I, I got five camera batteries. Or, excuse me, flashlight batteries. I'm sitting pretty good on that front. Oh, right. Okay, let's, um... Let's keep cruising, I guess. Oh, what's the... Oh. Can I see the... No. Okay. This is kind of hard to read with the... Do I really gotta turn on, like, night vision to read this? Alternative use. Oh, what? Oh, you can kind of examine. QE, camera rotation. Oh, that's the night vision thing. Shift to run, that's kind of important. And you can zoom as well. Okay. Alright, let's reload. How do I do this? Use. Okay. That effect was a little bit weird. A little bit spooky. Okay, this is where I started, right? We're not, we're not going back out that door, though? Okay. Um. Okay, I have a stamina bar. All right, good to know. Ah, uh, hello, hello. It's so like this is with the flashlight. I can't see shit. The flashlight's supposed to be the good thing. I hear a clock. Take the battery, thank you. Like, I don't even know... Okay, well, thanks for all the batteries, I guess. I have the flashlight on, right? It's darker in here... ...than it's supposed to be. Okay, you can't use both. Why is it... The night vision's better than the flashlight. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm, I'm big dumb. I'm big dumb. Where's the... I need to reload it. <laughs> Why is my flashlight not working? <laughs> ah, there we go. I guess it was just so like gradual. I just thought I was losing my mind or something. Oh, okay, lots of batteries. I appreciate that. Oh. I 
Max, the uh, ambience, pretty pretty serious, I think. Um, just kind of worried that I haven't bumped into anything yet. 106. Wait, I have the I have the key to the 106 cabinet. Is this? But that's not to the door. This is to a cabinet in that room. Huh. Yeah, I can't use it. Oh, there's a lean. That's what Q&E does. Okay. Hello. Anybody know where I can get a key to that room? Any helpful ghosts around here instead of spook ghosts? Because, you know, that... That'd be cool if we got, like, a helpful one that just wanted to uh, help me out or something. Um, anything? Oh, night vision battery. Those are definitely more rare. But I'll probably be using them more once when I start getting jumped. Like, I don't know... Again, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to, like, turn my flashlight off. Um, I mean, there could be shit back here. Like, I'm just kind of looking for, like, a key, for example. And, like, that's a kind of small object that's going to be easy to just, like, gloss over. Uh. Shite. Shite, man. Okay, well, we're getting deeper in the school now. Shit's starting to, uh, well, it's got to pick up, right? I mean, this is... This music is borderline... Peaceful. Lulling me into a false sense of security. Okay, there's some more doors down here before I go that way. Just, uh... Gonna check it out. Just gonna back away from the door when I open it. Seems like good practice. What's... What's... Why? What's happening? Is someone knocking on the door? Or the window? I figured I would see him or something. Does he want me to come closer? Is that why he keeps knocking? Holy night vision. Um... How is my... My flashlight's kind of getting dim. Hang on. Restock that. Hello? Is this one of those decisions? Should I not approach it with a bright flashlight? I... The, the sound... I'm so confused by the sound. It's definitely over there. Is it in the cabinet? Hello? I don't know. The directionality is kind of weird. Oh, and now that track picked up. Okay, well... You know what? Maybe he's just boarding something up. Maybe he's just working on patching up the place or, you know... Just something... Maybe it's none of my business. Maybe we're cool. Or maybe it's in the next room that's very close by. Oh, boy. Bathrooms. Yikes. <sighs> Deep breath. It's gonna be fine. Hello? Oh, I don't like this. Why is this one kind of closed? Like, and I can't... Like, I can't... I can't open it. Yeah, that noise is definitely coming from outside. It's driving me mad. Let's just keep moving, I guess. Oh boy. That's closed, really? There's a light switch though. Oh! Oh my. I, d I totally did not 
expect that to is there light switches in all these wow so you get all these light switches and also like all the batteries this might be very bad though because it must be super easy for enemies to see you huh okay well i kind of searched this whole hallway so i don't like that there's no music again yeah let's let's recover my stamina before i get into a bad situation and need it Um. Okay, there's another restroom over here. Let's just check this out. I know this is the woman's restroom, but maybe my character is a woman? Maybe it's okay? I, I got, yeah, I can't open that one. Hi? Hello? Any batteries? Nope. No batteries in the shitter. Man, this game... Definitely building me up. Definitely building me up for something. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so much better, I think. Until I get jumped and there'd be no way to run away. Um... Did I try this door down here? It's locked. It's locked, eh? Okay. Well, this might kind of go back to what I was talking about before. Like, I, uh, I'm kind of looking for keys, which I could easily gloss over so this is a bit of an issue I need a key for for 106 right ah sh this is gonna be really tough okay well I am finding good stuff in these lockers at least and like like the batteries they're kind of big enough like I feel like they're easy enough to notice except like a camera battery is kind of completely black so that's hard to notice but I mean at least they're kind of just like consumable items, so it's okay if you miss them. It's just like the key items, it's like, it's just a, it's literally just a key, so I am really worried I'm overlooking it. Oh my gosh, you can move the boxes? Is that, do I gotta like move shit out of the way? They wouldn't hide something underneath a box, would they? All right, so I've like, combed over the whole place again and then like a little bit more like I even searched like all the lockers as you can see and I I genuinely cannot find a key or anywhere and like all the we've, we've explored all the places and the rest of the doors are locked I'm gonna run over to 106 again um okay 108 is also locked Key is to cabinet 106. I just want to make absolutely sure that this door cannot be opened. Um, but yeah, otherwise, like, I, like, I, I seriously, I can't find it. And, like, what the, what the hell is going on in this room? Hello, let me in. And I can't. Yeah, like, maybe if I get closer. Yeah, no, that that doesn't work. Okay, there's definitely something in there. Um, but I, like, I've tried. I, I genuinely don't know where the key for this room is. Like, I don't know where this game is as far as in development. I didn't check if this is just, like, a tech demo, like, of this area or whatever. It feels kind of bad leaving a horror game without having a proper scare out of it. Um... But I will say the atmosphere in this game was really crazy, and, like, definitely, I'm sure the, uh, flashlight and, um, like, night vision dynamic is, would be really cool um, in a situation where you're trying to avoid, you know, enemies, but also trying to find shit. Um, so really cool. I mean, I like the experience so far, just, like, finding, uh, 
you know, finding a key in like this whole environment and like it's really, you know, it's it's populated with with stuff, which is great. Like it doesn't seem like like an underdeveloped game or anything, but like it just makes finding a little key super hard and I have no idea like where to look like I can't imagine I have been moving boxes by the way like trying to like look everywhere for it but um yeah it's been it's been to no avail but I you know I still I still really like this game um you know it was really really interesting and I'm, I'm curious I don't just giant eyeball behind that door so I, I think it it seems like maybe you can get in there but I'd for the life of me, I cannot figure it out. So I'm, I'm sorry, but if you guys want to see, you know, more of this game, you know, you can definitely download it yourself. Um, as usual, all the games I play, I'll put all the links in the description so you can check them out um, and see it for yourself. But otherwise, that is all the time I have for this round of games. Um, this was really fun. I, I Again, I, I enjoy doing this. And Game Jolt had... You know, it does feel like a different flavor of games. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you need like, I don't know if you need like a certain level of like development done with the game or a certain level of polish. I don't know. It just seems like, at least the games I looked at, they just seem to be like, kind of like well made so far. Um, and all that on Game Jolt versus Itch.io feels like more, um, like tech ideas and stuff but i don't know i might i don't listen to me about that i have so limited experience in both websites i could be so far off we'll continue to explore it more and more as i do more of these um but regardless like both are really fun i'm gonna use both as resources um you know going forward with more of these uh you know smatterings of of random games so but as always i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one